winter flying, great visibility, fantastic climb performance, and calm air. Really, if you want to see what it's like to fly on the rare days that we can even fly here in the Midwest during winter, come along, I'll show you. Hi everyone, it's Martin. I'm on my way to the airport and uh, hope to be able to fly. Uh, it's middle of February uh, 2019 and here in the Midwest and in Iowa in particular we are having uh, if not the coldest and, and snowiest winter on record then at least something very close to it. Uh, we've had plenty of days where the high was below zero Fahrenheit. Um, I I know we've had a few days with temperatures above freezing, uh, but I've been gone on travel and, and missed those. So since early January, the last six weeks, I have not seen anything above freezing. Even today, it's, um, it's in the mid-20s. Uh, nice sunny day, as you uh, can see here. Um, and uh, tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow, we're getting, we're getting another two inches of snow. So my uh, only chance of actually flying the Bonanza might be now and I don't have any destination in mind but it's been a week since I've flown and I just uh, want to go get her out and uh, fly a little bit maybe practice some of the maneuvers for my commercial rating and uh, just have some fun. I, I tried flying a week ago it was uh, also a nice sunny day a little colder but the uh, the ramp in front of my hangar was so iced up that we would have needed ice skates to to safely walk on it and and any thought of getting a plane out of the hangar and back in was was yeah it would have been impossible um, hopefully things look better today we had um, some sunshine and a little milder weather here a few days ago so um, hopefully that ice all has melted we'll find out when we get to the hangar so if you live in California or in uh, southern Florida and uh, you have to travel to find snow, consider yourself lucky. I uh, don't particularly like snow and winter weather. I love Iowa in the summer, really, really like it here on a, on a warm day, but winter gets old pretty quickly. You know, when the first snow falls, it's pretty nice. The air feels crisp and clean. Um, but then shoveling, dealing with ice, and all that gets old pretty quickly. And we've had it for six weeks solid now. No end in sight. Doesn't sound like a long time, but uh, if, if you have to go through it, pretty much six weeks of no flying weather with just an occasional day here and there, uh, that takes a toll. It's not good for the plane to just sit around in the hangar and not fly. It's probably not good for me to just sit around and not fly either. So uh, two good excuses to go out and uh, try to get the plane out. This is uh, Wright Brothers Boulevard here. It takes us from the freeway to uh, the airport. I drove here on Wednesday uh, to take a commercial flight for work and it was all black ice and I had to go 15 miles per hour. Uh, just to keep the car under control. It was really bad. Today, looking much better. All that ice has melted. The sun has uh, taken care of that. This is the entrance to the terminal here. See a little plane in the pattern. We're gonna get a little, go a little further and uh, go to what we call the Northwest Tees. This morning when I woke up, I, uh, I used my uh, cell phone to turn on the engine heater. I have a heater that warms up the uh, case and each cylinder of the engine. Uh, really important on these cold days to make sure that um, the engine is warm and um, the oil in particular is warm and can do its, its job to lubricate the engine. Really helps reduce wear on the engine. All right, here we are, Cessna Place Southwest construction going on. Oh, I see a Piper Cherokee on final. Yeah, this may be a busy day in the pattern. So happy that the uh, government shutdown is over and that our controllers are getting paid again. Uh, we have a really great group of um, men and women here in Cedar Rapids. 
that uh, take good care of us, but you know, we should take good care of them too. So glad that is over. And boy, that looks a whole lot better at first glance here. Still a little bit of snow in front of the hangar and we can take care of that. I have a snow shovel in there. Um, waiting for the gate to close behind me and then we'll uh, be on the way to the hangar. And there we go. Oh, this looks so much better than last weekend. You can see here the hangers on the right. They are the uh, north facing hangers and there's a lot more snow there. Fortunately, the home of 70 Tango Bravo, Northwest 403 is south facing. So we got a little bit of work to do with the shovel, but uh, should be able to remove it. And um, yeah, let's go do that. All right, before we do anything else, Trying to get that the ice off at least where the wheels have to go in and out. You can see here there's a lot of ice at the bottom still and there's insulation at the bottom of the door that normally is pretty nice to have because it creates a tight seal, keeps it, uh, keeps it dry and a little warmer. Problem today is it may be frozen to the ground. So uh, we'll have to very carefully try to open the door and see if it's uh, willing to move because I don't want to rip that insulation apart. Oh, let's take a look inside. See what things look like here. There she is, 70 Tango Bravo. Hello, Bonanza. Preter is on. I see the light here at the extension cord. So that's good. Uh, let's see if we can open the door. Two latches. Mm, let's see. Oh yeah, that is bad. Let's give that a little, little time. Try to kick loose the ice a little bit. Yeah, we're making progress, but still frozen in some places. All right, I think we got it. I see light now everywhere below the door. Yay! The next thing we'll try to, uh, I'll try to take the ice off in the center where the wheels go across, make it less of a hump. Granted, this is still a lot of work. And uh, you people in Florida and California are probably wondering we're crazy to live here. But I'm telling you, this is worlds better than it was a week ago. So one step at a time. Let's do one other thing. I have in my hangar some TKS fluid. Can try 
try to melt the snow just here in those areas where the wheels will go over. All right, see if that makes a difference. I have a space heater that I'll use inside the cabin. Engine is already warm, but I like the cabin and instruments to be warm also, especially the gyros when they start spinning up in really cold weather is not good for them. So it helps a lot to warm them up. Okay, let's see what the fuel level is. I can see fuel here. It's good, that means there's quite a bit in there. My tanks doesn't take a low level to not be able to see it. So seeing any fuel means we have quite a bit left. And I can see fuel here too. So I guess we don't need to get the fuel truck. That will save some time. Yep, nice and warm. Take the battery charger off. This is a little space heater, nothing special. Really just something that I, uh, I put in the cabin for 10 minutes or so before pulling the plane out. And that is all it takes to make it uh, nice and warm. One nice thing about having my own plane in my own hangar is that uh, there shouldn't be any really bad surprises because nobody touched this plane besides me. I mentioned the mouse guards earlier. You see what they look like. It's simply sheet aluminum and a, a little clamp to hold it together. And all it does is it prevents critters like mice from getting to the wheel and climbing into the wing or fuselage through the wheel wells and doing that damage there. It's a very, very cheap uh, insurance policy against mice. Takes a little while to do this. That's five minutes before and every after every flight, but nothing compared with the time it takes to to clean up after mice build the nest. All right, we'll get the tug in place. Check the oil yet? You know. All this works, but is it fun? No, I much prefer flying in the summer over winter time when everything is so much easier and faster. All right, I've been here for half an hour, just now moving the plane out of the hangar. That's what I feared. So we need more momentum to pull it out. I hate winter. Let's see, what can we do? We can try to chip more ice off. All right. See if that works better. Did I mention that I don't like winter? There we go. Okay, we're getting closer.
All right. Been here for almost an hour. Finally ready to start the engine. Good news is, once we're in the air, the cold weather is really nice. We get really good climb performance, short takeoff roll. That'll be the fun part. Before engine start, fuel will go in the right tank for now. Both tanks seem to be about equal. Beacon is on, gust lock is removed, the cowl flaps are open, trim is three up, landing gear switch is down, the breakers are in, avionics and autopilot off, emergency gear crank is free, seats and seat belts secure, prop forward, uh, throttle full open, mixture rich, brakes are set, clear prop! Information Lima 2052 Zulu weather 1080 at 4, visibility 10, clear, temperature minus 6, a dew point minus 10, altimeter 3001, visual approach runway 9 are in use, advise initial contact, you have Lima. Okay, we have Lima, we'll just go to the practice area. See up is clearance, good afternoon, Bonanza 7 zero Tango Bravo, information, Lima would like to depart VFR to the northwest practice area, please. Bonanza zero Tango Bravo, maintain VFR, outer below, 3500, departure frequency, 119.7, flock 0255. Uh, maintain VFR, outer below, 3500, 119.7 for departure, squawk 0255, Bonanza zero Tango Bravo. Bonanza zero Tango Bravo, back correct, device ready taxi. When Sierra is ground, when answer Zero Tank Bravo is ready to taxi information, Lima at the Northwest T's request, full length, please. Bonanza 7 Zero Tank Bravo, runway, runway 9R, taxi via Alpha. 9R via Alpha, Bonanza Zero Tank Bravo. It is a beautiful day, you know, if only it wasn't so cold. Okay, here's Alpha, we'll make a right turn. It is clear on the left and clear on the right. There's a construction site here on the right for the new cargo ramp. We're departing runway 9 or Cedar Rapids. Um, any any engine anomaly while on the runway or with runway in front of us, we will go uh, back to the runway. Uh, once we have no more usable runway in front of us, anything uh, that happens to the engine before 2,000 feet MSL will find a place straight ahead to land. Above 2,000, we'll uh, make a left turn uh, for runway 13. Looks like it's clear on final. Sea Rapids Tower, good afternoon. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo is ready, runway 9. -er. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, Sea Rapids Tower, sorry, left heading 070, runway 9 -er, clear for takeoff. Left heading 070, clear for takeoff, runway 9. -er. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo. Clear on approach. Clear on the runway. Lights are on. Oil is warm. All right, let's see what kind of climb rate we get. Yes, be alive. Good. Here up. Bravo, contact departure flight. Contact departure, Bonanza, Zero Bravo. Thank you. Have a good evening. I'll talk to you on the way back. 
Sea Dog, Mr. Parcher, good afternoon, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, uh, 2,000 feet. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, Sea Dog, Mr. Parcher, radar contact, I'll maintain your request to VFR altitude. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, Roger. Dakota 4 at X ray airport, 12 o'clock, 4 miles. Airport 12 o'clock, 4 miles, 4X ray. 4X ray, uh, do you have the airport in sight? I do have the airport in sight, Tom. It was a pretty uh, dense haze in this area, 4X ray. 4X ray, Roger. What would you say the, the uh, bases were? Uh, the bases were uh, with a very dense haze, 4X ray. Number 4 x ray, no problem. Uh, left base 1 3, contact tower, Roman 8.7. Contact tower, left base 1 3. The approach, Bonanza, Zero Tango Bravo. Uh, just for uh, my information, where is the airport that reported bases? I see nothing but uh, clear skies here. Are the clouds moving in from the south? Zero Tango Bravo, um, do I, we're not reporting anything here, but that Dakota that just went inbound said that there's maybe a thin layer a mile or two north of the field. We're looking out the window, we're not seeing anything, so maybe that's just him. And uh, Bonanza, as you're taking Bravo, just to confirm, my initial uh, clearance was 3,500 over below. Can I climb higher at this time? Bonanza, as you're taking Bravo, altitude will be at pilot's discretion. Thank you very much, Bonanza, as you're taking Bravo. Hey, Mark. Okay. We are in the practice area. Let's do a clearing turn. Let's do a clearing turn. Let's try a chandelle. And there's a stall. Accelerate. Right, lazy eight. Bonanza says Zero Tango Bravo, we'd like to leave the uh, practice area and do some sightseeing over Cedar Rapids and then return to Cedar Rapids for full stop. That's Zero Tango Bravo, Roger, advise about Cedar Rapids. That's Zero Tango Bravo, we'll go. Hi, Martin. Hello, co-pilot Becky. What's up? Well, I am about uh, 30 seconds from the house. I don't know if you're somewhere where you can see me. No. Okay. I don't see you. Oh, be on the airplane? In the airplane, yeah. Oh, which direction? Coming from the uh, from the west. Northwest. I'll be circling around the house. Just thought I'd let you know. Oh, I'll go outside and see you. Oh, okay. I see you. 
I hear you. I see you. Are you in the front? Oh, you have in the front. Take a picture? Sure. Sunshine. Normally the white fence is easier to see. Everything is what? white, right? Normally the no, white fence. Hey, I can I can hear the engine noise through your phone. That's funny. <laughs> Okay, just wanted to say hi. Hi, love you. I love Yay. you too. Bye bye. Alright, it's getting a little hazy. Let's go back for landing. But it's a 7th year Tango Bravo would like to return uh, for full stop landing now. 7th year Tango Bravo, Roger. 1090 at Niner, also at 3000. Niner, left base, runway 13. 3000, left base, runway 13. But it's a 7th Tango Bravo. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids Tower, runway 9 clear land. Correction, runway 13, clear land. Runway 13, clear land, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. Okay, gear down. Down and locked. Landing, gear down and locked. Landing lights on. Mixture and rage becomes controlled final. Yes, undercarriage, mixture, prop. Three greens. Both laps. Right turn on Alpha to parking this frequency when it says you'll take Bravo. Thanks for the help. Have a good evening. You too. off, master off. Well, that was fun. Now we got to get back in the cold and put it back inside. Waiting for the fuel truck. He'll probably help me push it in, but uh, I'll just try to see if I can get a little more ice off. Good, how are you doing? Good. Can you top it off, please? Sure can. Thank you. Was a nice day flying? You know, no? the flying, yes, but the getting it out and getting it in, you oh, know, getting nice. the ice yeah. off and, yeah. No. Not a big fan of winter weather. Yeah. But once, once we're flying, you know, the engine loves it. Yeah. I'm over this winter myself. How, how does that work when there's a snow storm coming? Do you, do you staff more because this, everything takes longer or is it just more work for everyone that's um, there? Or is there less traffic and so it's less work and it evens out or how, how does that work? The first initial part of the storm, we try to keep everybody here because if somebody's already here and they need to leave or something, we got the ice and all that. Mm -hmm. But after that, if there's nobody here, um, a good or you want more? That's good. Okay. Um, we try to let people go home. And just, there's no reason to have four people here. If we're all just sitting around. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll open it. 
That looks great. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. All right, well, that was a lot easier than taking it out earlier. And right, now the uh, battery trickle charge is coming back on. Now some of the things happen in reverse, like uh, put the mouse guard back in place. This here is the little switch for my preheater. Runs to this extension cord that we're gonna plug in now. And then, next time I'm ready to fly, I don't need to come out here to plug it in. I just activate it from a little app on my cell phone a few hours before the flight and the engine will be nice and warm. All right, it was fun despite the cold, but hopefully it'll be warm soon. And this is what winter flying is like. I uh, hope you enjoyed coming along. It's a lot of time for just a little flying, but what do you do? You've got to fly. So as usual, if you like this, um, we appreciate a, a like or feel free to comment below. Um, tell me where I can move to to not have to deal with this. You know, I think I know the answer to that. And uh, if you want to subscribe, there's a button there in the corner to do that also. Thanks. See you next time. Hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer. And of course, the very next day, it's snowing again. Like one nice day was all they gave us. <laughs>